All right, so everybody's been asking to see our van build and I've been promising it for a few weeks. So I figured I'd make a quick video and show everybody. Hi, everybody. I can wave to my shadow. So this is our van. Um, we're 90% done with everything we wanted to do to it. So I'll give you a quick tour first of the exterior and then of the interior. Um, so a few things we've done that are pretty obvious. Um, we've got the roof rack that we put on top. Um, and that was, uh, that's so that we can um, carry stuff up there. We have a water tank that's not attached to it. It's a 10 gallon water tank, a, an outdoor shower. You might've seen that in a couple pictures. It basically looks like a long tube that goes along the, the side. And then um, you can take a shower outside the van and it um, heats up the water 20 degrees warmer than ambient air temperature. But that's not on here right now, but normally it would go right there on the side right there. So other than that, um, so we've done quite a few things. Uh, the first um, thing that we did that's most obvious is we lifted the van. Um, we put uh, a full inch um, on the rear and front. Um, and that was mainly because we went up a tire size and it, the tires no longer cleared the wheel wells with the old lift or the old um, clearance amount. So we lifted it an inch. And since we were lifting it anyway, we uh, changed out the front um, springs. We got a better spring rate. And you can see the, the springs right there. Um, the, those blue springs are the new springs and they're a little stiffer and they give it a lot better ride in the front, not as, as floppy, basically. So we changed out the springs and I did that lift personally with a buddy of mine who had a garage. Um, I went and, and did that. And then in the back, what we did was we um, had a, what's called a, a spring lift. It's a block that's behind the tire here that you can see the leaf spring here. I'll stick the phone in there so you can see it. So right there, that block wasn't there before with those new U-bolts. That wasn't there and that lifts the van uh, off the axle right there. And additionally back here, we got these things which are super nice. They are a um, adjustable rate shock by Falcon. And what they do is you can turn that knob right there on the shock and change the spring rate of or the uh the compression of the shock and it makes it really um really you can stiffen it up when it's really windy so there's not as much sway which comes in really handy on some of these long trips on highways um, additionally if we were hauling a trailer that that we could uh, uh, put it in the higher stiffer setting and it would help with the uh the weight of the trailer on the back so it's got three settings one's for comfort One's for normal and then one's for um, performance, they call it. So that was the suspension lift. Um, the other big thing that we did on the exterior was we put this uh, ladder on the back and moved the spare tire from underneath where it was before to on the back. Um, and the big reason we did that is because with the new tire size, it no longer fits under the van. So we moved it up here. Um, but with the added bonus of having an awesome ladder that goes up the back, this little thing folds down and you just put your foot here and then you put your foot on that and it's kind of hard with one hand, but um, you can climb up, you can stand on the spare tire here and then you're on the roof. And shortly I'm going to be getting more cross beams and laying some sort of decking here um, so that you can actually sit up here. Um, and then one further project we're probably going to do is probably put a vent fan here so that we can clear out when, like, the kids have gas or something. So we can clear the van out real quick or the dog or whatever. So um, that's it for the exterior, basically. Oh, one other thing I did do was I changed out the running boards. So there was the factory running boards that were really wide and bulky and hung really low. And I was really concerned about getting them stripped, ripped off. So we got these nice <clears throat> off, more off-road centric bumpers or uh, running boards. And I changed those out. Um, 
So, and then there's a big one here for the sliding door. So, um, and then the best mod of all, obviously, was the stickers. This sticker right here gives us at least 10 horsepower and two inches of suspension. Um, and then we've got all of our national park stickers uh, where we've been, um, and it's slowly growing. So, um, yeah, that's the outside. Uh, we did get the windows tinted. Uh, this is the factory tint in the back here. And then we got this, these two windows tinted for both sides. And then we actually got the windshield interior tinted so that it keeps the heat out. There's a, a clear tint there that blocks UV so you don't get as much. Uh, it doesn't heat up the inside nearly as much. And then we got what they call an eyebrow done there too to also block the light. And it, you'll see why that is when we go inside. So, but a little bit about the van specifically itself. This is a V6 EcoBoost engine, which has got twin turbos in it. Um, and it gives it a lot more power and a lot more performance if you want to uh, go fast. And then it, uh, it is also all wheel drive. So that's super nice. Um, all of that, if you think about it, all equals less gas mileage. So the downside of all of that, including the big tires and the all wheel drive and everything else, the roof rack, or it equates to about a 15 mile per gallon um, gas mileage on the highway. So it's a little disappointing with the gas mileage, but it gets us where we need to go. We just pay a little bit more than we would have if we didn't have the all wheel drive, but we're safer with the all wheel drive. It does do awesome in the snow with uh, these tires on it. Um, I would recommend these for anybody that's looking for a off-road tire um, or on-road, off-road tire, Falcon Wild Peaks AT. Um, and they are super, they're pretty quiet. They still look kind of aggressive and they work really well in snow and uh, dirt road type scenarios, but they work really well on highways still. So um, anyway, um, let's look inside. So we got a big sliding door. We did not get an automatic door because it's just one more thing to break and I've pictured it breaking really quick. So we got a 12 passenger van and there's many seat configurations that we can do. Right now we have it set up for five here and two here, so seven total. Um, these seats only recline about that much. That's the way they come from the factory. They don't recline much, um, but we have an additional two rows, two full rows of seats that we could put in. Um, the biggest thing we've done on the inside right here is we have put a bed in. Um, I purchased this bed frame from, a, I had it custom welded by a buddy of mine. And um, then I put it in and I'll open up the back so you can see it better. But it's a full size bed with an Ikea mattress. And it just bolt these are factory holes that for the um the rear seats if you had a 15 passenger the rear seat buckles would go in this hole but it's not being used in this model so i used it so i hung my hung my bed from those bolts and uh it's just inch and a half tubing bolted together and then um basically like a plywood frame right here you can see and then you have to custom cut the edges with like a jigsaw to get them around all the various curves of the van. But then I painted it black and we stuck an Ikea mattress on it. And normally this would sit back a little further. Only one hand, so it's a little harder, but um, Bonnie and I can fit comfortably on this bed. So I lay up there and there's enough room. I'm 5'11". You know, um, there's just enough room for me to lay. If you were six foot, you still could do it, but your feet and head would just about be touching if you lay this way. And then Bonnie is only five, six, and she fits here very easily with no issue at all on the nearer part here. So, and then underneath we have a massive amount of storage. I purposely put this high enough for my mountain bike or, or most normal mountain bikes to fit under the bed here with the front wheel off. So it might, in the future, I'll probably have a rack system that the bit bikes can fit in here and be um, just 
uh, mounted with their front wheel off in, in a row here. Additionally, you could fit a ton of stuff in this, like this. So this is not permanent. This comes out with four bolts, actually two bolts. These two bolts are it. So um, it comes out very easily. Uh, one note about the door, we purposely ordered these extra wide opening doors. So I'm not gonna open this one because the tire, the spare tire is there, but I'll open this one to show you. If you hit this unlock, it pulls that open and these doors will open up. These doors will open up all the way to like that. 270 degree doors. And they've got a little magnet there that when you, it magnets to it right there and it, it, won't, it doesn't move. If it's really windy out, you're not gonna wanna pin it back like that because the wind could whip it around and break your door. But for all normal purposes, it just stays right like that. This one does open. But with the spare tire there, it kind of blocks it. It doesn't open all the way as it's, it should have. It should, so we don't open it like that anymore. Or if we do, we just kind of let it sit because it can rest on the tire as long as you don't hit, the, hit it or anything. So to put this back, you just close this up and then it just, if you watch here, it just comes in and clicks right in and you're, you're engaged right there. All right, so I'll show you here the rest of the inside. Um, so that's the back. It's got AC vents all up in here. Um, oh, this is our patch collection because the stickers will eventually fade. So I wanted something more permanent. So we're going to have patches for everywhere you go too on the inside. Uh, let's see. So this is Bonnie's, one of Bonnie's favorite parts, this upper shelf here that you can store all sorts of stuff in including paper towels. Um, and then right below that, you've got the, your rear uh, controls for your, um, for your AC system in the back. And I'll show you a good shot of the front here. It's very spacious, plenty of room for parents to get back here and commence to whooping their kids if they need to. Um, while you're driving, you can just walk back here and, you know, do whatever you need to do. Um, and then um, plenty of space here. It's got a nice screen that you can do Android Auto or iPhones on, depending on your, your preference there. Um, it's got a ton of space up in here with various power ports and USB ports and all sorts of stuff here. Um, it's got um, a camera that, just ignore that camera, that's mine, but there's a camera up here that is for the eyesight and the automatic braking for collision avoidance, um, which is super nice. Um, the adaptive cruise control, uh, it has adaptive cruise control, which is really nice. Like if you're in a row of traffic, it'll keep pace with the car in front of you, no problem. Um, let's see, what other cool stuff does it have? It's got cup holders everywhere. So you see these ones here, we don't know really what fits in there, but it's a giant place where you could probably fit like a quart of milk in there if you really wanted to. There's one on both sides. Um, there's a cup holder there, there's a cup holders here. They're all over the place. Uh, we have a tow controller down here because it has the full tow package on it. Um, yeah, it's got different modes right here. There's a mode button. Can't see it quite there. There's a mode button and when you put it into off-road mode or you know mud and ruts I think they call it um, or, or slippery conditions on the road it sticks to the road it's very hard to get it to break loose at all I tried and it, it doesn't want to break loose at all um, or slide so it's it's very stable it helps it's got a ton of weight in it too of course um so yeah that's about it. Uh, there's USB ports variously all through the back, which our kids, of course, use to charge their devices. So um, there isn't a lot of other features. If you have any specific questions about it, let me know. But um, we're really, really happy with it. And we got um, a pretty good deal on it through the military. So if you're military, you can get the Ford X plan, which uh, took a bunch of price, a bunch of money right off of it. Um, just for that because it was right off of MSRP um, and it locked in the price and made it 
so that there was no real negotiation with the you didn't have to mess around negotiating with the de dealer because the ford the price was set like you basically have employee pricing for ford so um, it worked really well we custom ordered it like we basically or ordered it with everything we wanted in it so um, it worked out really well it took us a long time we've ordered it in february and we didn't receive it till september so um, it took a while but we're pretty happy with it um it's uh it's definitely a great vehicle for long trips um and for um having a lot of cargo and kids and dogs and anything else you'd want to haul around so uh, let me know if you have any questions all right